Why, hello there. It's Sandy Unlock. Happy World Watercolor Month. I am going to be painting ice cream. World Watercolor Month prompt for day one is train. I am not painting a train. You don't have to follow the prompts in order to participate in World Watercolor Month. So feel free to do that or not do that as you wish. There is a link to the prompts in the doobly-doo if you're interested in following along with those. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Today I'm not. I'm painting ice cream instead since that is my theme for the week and I've been creating ice cream projects all over my social media. The World Watercolor Month has been this thing that Charlie O'Shields does, and he's been doing this for a long time. And I have been an ambassador for it for a number of years, and I help with some of the fundraising. So what I do is offer a discount to you on my watercolor classes all month long. And in addition to you getting like a dollar or two off the class, whatever that amount is that I give you as a discount, I also take that amount out of the money that you pay and I give that toward the charity, which is the International Child Art Foundation. So if you get $2 off, then I take $2 and give it to the International Child Art Foundation. So you get a small discount and they get money for the kiddos. So it's always good to help children. Kids don't have enough art in school, so I like to be sure that we can find a way to help them. And I also have a couple other things that I'm doing this month. At the end of this video, I will show you the pouch that you can get with one of my pieces of art on it. So it's a zippered pouch and you can, if you just want to go see that, then <laughs> there's a link in the doobly-doo to that if you want to purchase one. And then also my classes. I just wanted to remind everybody, I, I talked about this in the Peace, Love, and Art video earlier this summer when I announced that we're going to be doing this all summer. Peace, Love, and Art is just a time period in which I've been launching a lot of mini classes because I was remiss in adding more mini classes for a long time. So there's a whole bunch of new ones if you haven't seen them. There's going to be two more this month because I'm launching them every two weeks. But at the end of Peace, Love, and Art, which is at the end of July, my mini classes are all going to go up by just a slight bit. It's that whole inflation thing. My fees for like running the website are going up no matter what I do. I can't help that. I can't not have the website and, you know, just life gets more expensive. So I do have to raise something. So I decided just the minis, since those are really, really reasonably priced anyway, a little increase in those isn't going to kill anybody. But if you wanted to get them while they're still at their lower price, then now would be a good time to go click through them and see which ones you may want to add to your account. Even if you don't want to take them right now, in the, you can take the class later on because you have forever or until the internet is gone to finish your classes. So I wanted to set that reminder out for you. And also if you're wanting to join in Peace, Love and Art, go sign up in the link in the doobly-doo for my once a week email list. And you will find out all the stuff that's going on, what the prizes are, because there's been some pretty spectacular ones. And uh, yeah, we've got more spectacular stuff coming for the rest of this month. And then Peace, Love and Art will be over at the end of July. So let's talk about this piece just a little bit. Where the inspiration came from for this was, I was just looking for ice cream stuff because I've been painting ice cream. and for my theme for this week. And I found some pictures. I could not locate the actual website of the shop, but there is apparently an ice cream shop in Seoul, South Korea, where they make the most beautiful ice cream cones you'd ever see. And I only found like three or four pictures of like people who have been to this place. And the only way I could find that was by looking for a, a word. It's like a funny name for a street that must be the street that they have their shop on. And that's the only way I found those pictures. I can't find a website with it because I wanted to just go browse their website and see how beautiful their ice cream cones are because they're amazing. They had all kinds of frosted cookies 
and each one has a theme. So there's like one that was all mermaidy and had this big mermaid's tail sticking out and water elements. There's others that just have these cookie flowers with beautiful frosting on them. They're just amazing. So I decided I would take just those few little pictures that I had seen and create my own themed ice cream. So mine is art themed and I made some cookies in the shape of a brush and a pencil because why not? Because, you know, I don't even know if there are brushes and pencils in the, the whole cookie realm. Do they make those little cutout things, the little cookie cutters in that shape? I don't even know, but maybe I should look and find out. And that would be another rabbit hole to go down. I, I'm that person that goes and looks up everything on the internet. So <laughs> I might end up going to look, but if anybody ever sees one, just message me and let me know where I can get one. But I've added those cookies. I have a waffle palette in the background because everything has to have something waffle on it when it's uh, an ice cream, ice cream cone of some kind. Got some beautiful drippy chocolate. I added some fruit just so there was something healthy because, you know, healthy is good, sort of, right? So I thought that would be an, a nice gesture toward the healthy. There's nonpareils stuck onto the chocolate that is coating the cake cone at the bottom, which was kind of fun. And I did add a wrapper around it because I wanted to put some words on this. So I had those at the very end. But it was really interesting trying to develop all of these textures. And then when I got about to midway, I realized everything was looking the same. It was, there was just so much of the same value. So you'll see as I keep adding more and more on, I keep adding more layers and deepening colors. So I end up with enough division between sections so that you can tell one thing from another. But it took me a while to get there. Every time I start painting something like this, especially when I'm painting really tight, this is not my normal looser kind of style. But when I start painting tight things like this, I just think it's going to be dark enough and <laughs> it never is. So I keep adding more and more depth to things so that I can create some kind of push and pull, you know, moving some things to the back and other things to the front, et cetera. And I'm also not somebody who paints in this many colors, but those ice creams that I saw were so full of color and so bright and such a cacophony of colors and shapes and textures and things. I thought, okay, well, I've got to do this in a bunch of colors in order to do those ice creams justice. And so I also painted an Oreo because Oreos, I know a lot of people like homemade cookies, but my favorite cookie, I think, is an Oreo. Just give me a double stuff and I'm one happy camper. It can be the chocolate type of Oreo. It can be those vanilla ones, the yellow cookies with the, oh man, those are so good. I have to be careful around my house when I eat Oreos though, because my dogs, love dog Oreos. There's these dog cookies that look and smell just like Oreos. And every time I get an Oreo from me, if the dogs see me with it, they just have fits because they think I'm eating their dog cookie. And they get one of those every morning about nine o'clock. That's their, their morning treat. The pups do love their Lick and Crunch cookies from Three Dog Bakery just as much as I love me a good Oreo. So I'm not much of a foodie, but I do have a terrible sweet tooth. So yeah, there's that. So there is my finished painting. It was kind of fun to work on. I was a little stressed and needed a little stress relief. And this gave my mind something to work on when I was thinking about other icky things going on in the world around me. So there we go. All done. This is the pouch for World Watercolor Month. That is my pouch with my art on it. And this is the smaller size. And I put a brush and a pen there so you can see the size that this sucker is. It's the smaller of the two that's on the website. So if you want to go get one and help raise some money for kids, please go do that. Go take a class if you're interested. Links to everything are in the doobly-doo down below, as well as Monday's video where you can learn how to color in Copic markers, an ice cream cone, and go get your very own ice cream cone printables. All right, that is it for me. I will see you all again next week with some watercolor. Bye-bye. <laughs>